Did you ever have the feeling you're being watched? That the eyes of strange, eerie things are upon you? Look out there in the audience. People! Billy Punk, who thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. Interesting guy, man, and uh, you know, he believes it. So, Kyrie, yeah, the earth is flat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, whatever. The earth is flat. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> you must unite what has been said. We are TFR Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference coming this fall. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is in a spaceship anchored over the Midwest breadbasket. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, then you're probably thinking about Las Vegas, which is what we're going to be talking about tonight at some length. But we got a few announcements to, to get through first. For those of you listening to this on YouTube, you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, the show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And if it is not... October 3rd, 2017, then you are not listening to this live, which means you're going to go to voicemail. But tonight, if you're listening to it right this second, then it is live. The phone number to call in, and we are going to take calls. Although we do have a last-minute guest, which is going to be Brian Burton, recently retired United States Army Master Gunner to talk about ballistics and all things fun. When it comes to Vegas, we're going to break it down. See what we know, see what we don't know, and see what we can speculate on. Quote of the day from the peanut gallery is, In order to understand more, it is imperative that we improve our knowledge before choosing which side of the fence we feel compelled to belong. Who said that? That was J.P. Robinson. Flat Earth Conference is completely sold out. That's coming up on November 9th and 10th, 2017, Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, the waiting list probably not going to do you any good at this point. However, if you're still desperate for tickets, let me know. Or if you're trying to get rid of your tickets, because every once in a while something comes up, you, you can't go. I've already I've already played matchmaker for a couple of people. Uh, definitely sign up for live streaming or just go anyway. Hang out in the hotel room. There's going to be a lot of people there and media and fun things to do. So uh, seriously, go down to Raleigh if you can make it. Drive there if you're on the East Coast. Uh, if you're trying to get press passes, lie, cheat, and steal, you're not going to get four press passes. If if you're lucky, you might get two. If you don't have your press passes yet, get a hold of me at msargent23 at comcast.net, and I'll see what I can do. Jeffrey Grupp debate challenge still in effect. 
but it's gathering dust. If anyone wants the challenge from the glove side, just get a hold of me. My contact info is on all my videos. Big Money Challenge is also in effect. You can contact Kathy Dunson at Paralandra77 at gmail.com. That's P-E-R-E-L-A-N-D-R-A 77 at gmail.com. DITRH is still doing a billboard that's going up near the conference center. I think it's getting pretty close to whatever it's supposed to reach. Uh, the GoFundMe, A Stranger's Guide to Flat Earth Billboard, or FE Billboard, should be running real, real soon. Especially since we've got less than five weeks before the conference actually happens. I am going to be attending a live event, a Flat Earth Meetup in Pasadena, California. That's in Los Angeles, by the way. This coming Sunday, October 8th. It is going to be at the Luggage Room Pizzeria. If you want more details on that, just go into YouTube and type in Flat Earth Pasadena Meetup. And that should take you there. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. If you're from the UK, you can call in at 44-203-393-2871. And if you want to call just to listen in, that number is 641-793-7117. Then you can just listen on your phone. I won't pick you up. In fact, I won't even see you on my call board when that happens. So what else do I have to mention here? We're going to go, we're going to basically, uh, other than the flatter stuff, which I just mentioned, we're going to focus a lot of it because it just happened very, very recently. The Vegas shooting, which happened in Las Vegas recently. We're going to uh, see what we know from the mainstream and what the news isn't telling you, what the sheriff's department isn't telling you, what basically everybody isn't telling you. So I really like some of your comments on that. And in the meantime, what we're what we're doing is we've got Brian Burton, United States Army Master Gunner, recently retired and now living somewhere in the Midwest. Are you there, Brian? Can I take the mute button off? Brian? Yes, I'm oh, here. Oh, you didn't you had the mute button on. You know what I have to say now, right? I had a mute button on because you told me to. Ha ha. Ha. All right, fine. I, I, won't, follow I, won't, my I won't. I won't give you the rookie mistake. And and uh, nice to have you, by the way. The Thank you. you're very welcome. I wanted to do a couple quick because you know me. I love movies. And I want to do a couple quick movie reviews. Just get them out of the way because they're. If I don't say it now, I'll never see it. Two movies I've seen just recently. One, of course, was the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, and the other one was War for the Planet of the Apes, the final. Play of the Apes movie in the trilogy, the brand, you know, the new trilogy. Have you seen either of these? I have not. Don't spoil them. Well, no, no, I won't spoil them for you. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, I may spoil a little bit in the Play of the Apes one, but I just want to get this out of the way. For the Spider Man one, they both, the reason why I both, I mentioned these is they were both scoring about 90 something percent. And I'm going, okay. And the Spider Man one is, is, I think it's totally worth it. Definitely go see it. I do disagree with the reviewers that say that the new kid who's taken over Spider-Man, he's basically made the movie. It's like, oh, that's why you're coming to see it. You come to see him. It's like, no, no. This movie was so chock full of cameos that (laughs) it it, it wasn't a Spider-Man movie. Basically, Marvel's figured out. It's like, we're going to do so many crossovers that everybody's going to be in everything, even if it's only for five minutes. Therefore, you know, the, the fanboys love it. So it might as well have been a Iron Man, Spider-Man team up because Iron Man was there several times. Robert Downey Jr. plays the mentor to Spider-Man. Uh, the entire Iron Man cast is there. You've got uh, a clip which they interlaced from the, did you ever see Captain America Civil War? Yes. Yeah, Excellent. they interlaced a clip from that, <laughs> uh, which which was fine, you know, and not only that, but then throughout the, because he's still in high school, they put all, all you know, those, mo- those, sh- those videos they make you watch in, in, I don't know if they still do in high school, where they have some celebrity talking about, you know, don't do drugs and don't do this and don't do that. Well, you yeah. know, who you know who does all the public service announcements now? No, who does it? Captain America. Oh, of course. <laughs> so he's on the television all the time through this thing. 
Yeah, you, you have Gwyneth Paltrow uh, towards the end of this thing. And, oh, God, what, what else? So basically, and, and you could actually make a drinking game over how many times they actually said the word Avengers in this movie. Because that's the whole point. It's like, oh, Spider-Man going to join the Avengers. Spider-Man, no, he's not going to join the Avengers. Everybody knows that. You read the comic books, of course not. He's Spider-Man. He's a lone guy. It's like the Punisher joining the Avengers. They will cross paths from time to time. But if you read comic books at all, you know this already. So I'm just saying it's an okay movie, but without all the all the you know the the, the people coming in and out of set, you know, for the only people that, uh, that weren't there were Thor and the Hulk. The only people it, without those guys, the movie wouldn't have scored ninety percent. It would have scored. It would have barely been certified fresh. Well, you got to remember they're setting up for Infinity Wars too. I know. I know. I know. I'm just saying when a reviewer says, oh, yo, is this the kid the man's going? No, it wasn't. You're there because of all the other crap. That's honestly Robert Downey Jr. was, in my opinion, he'll he'll save just about any superhero movie now. So they well, I'll tell you, I'm going to see it because I want to see Michael Keaton. Mike, you know what? You're absolutely right. Michael Keaton. Oh, holy smokes. That's sacrilege for me to, to to not include him. Him as the vulture was fantastic because he 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 doesn't overact as much as he's just so freaking sinister this is hard to believe he's one of the few crossover characters in in the superhero world a guy that actually played a dc character and a marvel character i think there's only two of them i think it's him and ben affleck of all people ryan reynolds why what do you play in marvel deadpool I don't count Deadpool. All right, three guys. You know what? We'll count Deadpool. How can you, how can you not I, I, Deadpool? I, I, I was never a fan of Deadpool. I just never, I know. He was like, well, I mean, he's not, he's sort of like the anti-hero. Oh, you're right. Ryan Reynolds was Green Lantern and Deadpool. Uh, uh, Michael Keaton, of course, was the first Batman from 1989. And the Vulture now, he pl- plays a villain, which is, you know, that's that's a first. And then Ben Affleck, who plays Batman now, also played one of the early versions of Daredevil which didn't do very well. So there you go. And Planet of the Apes, my, this one's really short. My only criticism of the whole Planet of the Apes thing is they tied it up way too neatly at the end. That's that's all I'm really going to say. The, the, the word I'm going to throw out there for you people, wait for it. It's called avalanche. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> that's how you're going to tie the whole thing up? An avalanche, a giant avalanche. And when you're watching, you'll know what I'm talking about. The question you've got to ask yourself when you finally see this avalanche, because I can say this now and you're not going to see it coming, is why it actually waited to the last, you know, the last part of the movie for this to happen. You know, because of all the stuff that happened, you're, you you go through the movie, it's like, oh, it's a happy ending, tears. And it gets to the end and it's like, wait, what? Why? All right. So anyway, that's that's my my opening. For the, for the show. I'm going to get two movie reviews out of the way. I am not going to do what Jimmy Kimmel did. If you saw his little clip from, from recently where he actually got all teary eyed. You're not talk- a good enough actor to do that. What? To do teary, teary eyed? Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I can't, I can't fake something. I've always told people like, look, I can sell stuff, but I have to believe in it. I absolutely have to believe in it. I cannot sell a product that. Uh, that I don't believe in 100%. And Jimmy Kimmel talking about gun control is like, oh, dude, come on. But he did actually got re- pretty realistic at the end of it. He's going, you know what? Next week, no one's going to care anyway. And we're all going to go back to our lives. And he was sad about that. I'm going, well, you're right. That's exactly what's going to happen. And a week from now, you know, it's uh, so that's why we got to talk about this now. So you ready? Sure. Okay. So, and, and I know, I guess I see the phone calls coming in. I see the first one on the list is Beverly Hills, California. We are not picking you up yet. We are, we got to get through, uh, Brian and I got to, uh, got to talk about Vegas stuff, but if you guys want to stay on the line, that's fine. I don't mind. I'm not picking you up right away. We got, we got stuff to do. Okay. So by, by now we're not going to go over the obvious things about what they said, uh, necessarily about the, the absolute media breakdown of what happened at Vegas. Uh, the short, short version is that lone gunman from the 32nd floor of a hotel across from a open stage area that's for rock concerts across the street, quite some distance, mind you, uh, opened fire for what, 20, 30 minutes, five, at least 600 rounds, at least 600 rounds, and uh, killed 50 people and wounded 500 which is 
an obscene amount for one person. Uh, then there seemed to be some confusion about the details, and only today, if I'm not mistaken, only today did they release this morning, they released the type of weapons used, which normally they release pretty quick. And you and I were kind of joking about it in chat where I said, well, they can't, they can't say it was an AR-15, and I know I'm kind of jumping around here, because one, it didn't sound anywhere close to an AR-15, and two, an AR-15 is not what you would use from such a distance. Uh, I'm sorry. It, 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 well, the M military version would be M4. The, if you're old school, you remember it as the M16. Let me break down the ballistics for you real quick because I happen to be a survivalist. And yes, I know I'm talking to a U.S. Army guy, but I happen to know a few things about ballistics. So let me break this down real quick. A little 22 caliber pistol or rifle round has the tip of the bullet as weight is, is in grains. And a 22 comes in at about 40 grains. It's tiny. It's, you know, you can get shot by a bunch of these and not die. A standard 5.56 five, military small rifle round comes in at about 55 grains. Not that much bigger. It's like a 22 on steroids. The velocity is amped up, but it is still a very, very small bullet. Compare that with a, and, and when I say 5.556, or 5.56, that's the millimeter. The 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 English, the, the U.S. version would be a 223 Remington, roughly. I know the 5.56, the military round, slightly bigger pressure, but it's the 223 Remington. Compare that with one of my favorite calibers, which is the 7.62 by 51, not the Russian round, the 7.62 by 39 which is, which, you know, has um, the grain of the bullet goes up to 180. I've, I've got a bunch of 180s. And it's, it's heavy. That's, that's three, it's over three times larger than a 5.56, five, which is what you would use. In, in fact, it's a popular hunting round. That's otherwise known as the 308 Winchester. Would you agree, Brian, that a 5.56 five, from the 32nd floor of that building would not be the weapon of choice for someone that was looking to get a high body count. Oh, absolutely. That wouldn't be your weapon of choice. In fact, I, I, I go so far as to say is, you know, I, I'll play devil's advocate here. If I was a contract killer and someone offered me a million dollars and you take in a five, five, six rifle to go with you or half a million dollars and you can take in a seven, six, two, I'm taking the seven, six, two and a uh, big pay cut. Because I I would have no confidence at all in using a 5.56 five, in that range. And for those of you who don't know anything about firearms, what we're talking about here is from that range, by the time it gets from that window in that building all the way down to the, the fairgrounds floor, whatever you want to call it, the stage floor, it's lost so much energy. I don't know if lethality even comes into play anymore. I mean, yeah, you're going to get, it, is it, I mean, not. yeah, you, you might get, you, yeah, you'll suffer something. Yeah. But you, you might have some wounded. Sure. But 50 dead. Well, you got to remember the five, five, six isn't a lethal bullet technically. No, let me, and you're absolutely right. It is not a lethal bullet for those of you who don't know way back in the day, way before most of you were born, the Vietnam war started out with the M 14, which was a 7.62 beautiful weapon, heavy wooden you know, 20 round box magazine and it, the 308 is a killing round. But if those of you who are well-versed in war may or may not know that the, uh, 5.5.56 is an attrition round, meaning in war, a dead man is actually not conducive to helping you wound the, to win the war. You want to wound them because if somebody dies, well, you know, you just ship them home and, and bury them. It doesn't cost that much. But if they're wounded, you got to get them out of there. You got men that, you know, they, that takes a lot more resources. They're in the hospital. Is there rehab? How many men did it take them to get to that point? The surgery involved, that post-surgery. I mean, there's a lot of resources that are used. And war is all about money. Whatever army runs out of money and resources first loses. So it you know, doesn't help the man on the field feel any better that you're carrying around a, a weapon that was designed to wound and not kill, especially if somebody's coming straight at you. It's like, holy crap, I got to shoot a lot more. Hopefully I can kill him. 
but that's just the way war works. And so, and if you guys want a more uh, proof of this, look at the, uh, and I know I'm boring people with numbers here, look at the, uh, the 222, not the 223, but the 222, which is just a tiny bit different than the 223. It is a varmint round. It is meant for prairie dogs. It is only meant to kill small things. So when you're going up on the 32nd floor of a building, that is not the gun you take. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry. So anyway, sorry. That's that's my that's my little rant. So we, you and I have been bouncing videos back and forth all day on on this because finally and you guys if you, in fact if those of you at home or listening to this, you want to do some quick homework, go into YouTube, type one of two things. Type in either um Vegas second uh Ve- Vegas two shooters or Vegas muzzle flash, Vegas two shooters or Vegas muzzle flash and download whatever you can there. I don't know how long those videos are going to be allowed to stay up because the one that shows that the one that talks about two shooters is fascinating because it's mostly audio where people are, you know, because people in camera phones, once they heard the first shots, you know, people just took their camera phones out and started filming the street, even though they had no idea what they were filming and they were listening and the audio was distinct. There was uh, the one I just sent you. It, I hopefully we'll see if you agree. It wasn't an echo. I mean, there were shots there were, there were, appeared to be gunfire right above that cab and there appeared to be gunfire seemed to be in the direction of the stage way, way down range. True. Yes, I love that video because, and I admit at first, when you first hear it, because you hear the big gunshots, yeah. then you hear the faint, and I was like, oh, that's an echo. Come on, Mark. And I said it to right. myself, come on, Mark, that's an echo. Right, right, I know. But then a couple of seconds later, you heard the, the distance shot start. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's, and that, that cab driver was right there. And he's, I love it. He's like, he's like going, why isn't it be, you know, he can hear it. And he's going, why isn't it be, you know, people are just standing around because they don't know. You don't know what, what's going on. So that's the audio part. The other part, which I had been looking for for some time now, you know, we've seen all sorts of different, you know, Blair Witch Project videos where people are, are running around and uh, they're, they're, they're panicking. But I'm looking at the hotel the entire time because you can hear things going off, right? But you're looking at the hotel and I'm looking up in that 32nd floor area and I'm looking for the muzzle flash because when you shoot a gun, especially at night, you get this flash. That's why it's called a muzzle flash. And there's muzzle flash reducers and, you know, a suppressor will work and you know, it, it gives away your position if you're, you know, if you're not careful. And I couldn't see it, never saw it. And then finally, somebody said, hey, wait a minute, there's some, there's the muzzle flash right there, but it's not on the 32nd floor. It was below the 10th floor and on the uh, other side of the building facing the different, a different way. So that piqued my curiosity to, to some extent because like, okay, because we've been, I, you know, hearing all the two-way radio conversations, the police never seem to even address the second, uh, the, the, the 10th, we'll call it the 10th floor, the 10th floor shooter. So what was going on there? Why are they going up to the 32nd floor? Plus they, so one of the cops mentioned in the broadcast that he said that it was a strobe light going off in the uh, 32nd floor, which is also interesting because I have a fire alarm. We don't know. Well, so it is Vegas. It could have been a party. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. It could have been rave going on. I, yeah. It could have been a chair thrown out that window. But when you listen to the, you know, the long version of the police scanner stuff, the police, you know, they're, they're double and triple checking, you know, 32nd floor room number one, three, five, which is a weird numbering scheme considering it's the, the 32nd floor, but they, you know, they go up there, supposedly break in and, what do they finally claim? It took them a while to even announce the weapons. And I, I joked with it. It's like, well, hopefully they do not announce the AR-15 as being the shooter's weapon because you can't pull that off. You, you just, There's no way you could do it for several reasons. One, of course, the amount of rounds fired yeah. from an AR-15, even if it was an AR-15, which was shooting way too slow to be that, plus it was way too weak a weapon to use from that position, would have overheated the barrel, would have would have melted the synthetics on it, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the other part was that if... I just lost my train of thought. If the... 
the the sounds didn't match up, and 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 I know we're, we're we got three minutes to the break, and I'm sorry for the guys that are on hold here, but I gotta I gotta get this out. And that is when I look, I've shot a lot of things, not not as many as Brian here. Brian has actually shot you know belt fed. I've sh- I've shot belt fed 308, but it was an M60, you know the old school one. Uh, it, yeah, it kind of dates me a little bit. Yeah, Rambo style. And that was when I heard this. When you hear, when you shoot a lot, you get used to the sound of things. No different than a car. So if you're a car guy. And you hear a Dodge Challenger with a throaty V8 going down the road. You know that sound very well. Compare that to like a Honda Civic going down the uh, down the road. Very different sound. That's what we're talking about here. The sound that those shots were making was a deeper. It's a deeper, slower rate of fire. And I mean, yeah, you can say at the very least. I mean, at the very least, it was a 762 by 39 with a drum on it, right? But to me, the way it was being fired, it felt like a 308 belt fed. It felt, and then you cued me in and said, "Oh yeah, it sounds like the 240, the the M240, which is standard mount uh, uh, light machine gun mounts on tanks." Yeah, like I said, I've heard that sound for 20 years. I heard that I was like it sounds like 240. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> that was your first instinct. And other people, you're not alone. That's where I think they got themselves in trouble because you're you're listening to this. And you're going, holy smokes, why you're giving the sound that was used was so distinct that anybody in the military that has dealt with uh, 762 being fired, you know, on a belt fed, it's, you know, that's burned into your head. You know, this sound and it is not a, a not a five, five, six. And yet the police are reporting that the room they busted into was full of five, five, six and cartridges. And there was no, you know, they didn't mention well, it at all. Uh, I got to say something real quick. Go ahead. Go because I got to make sure I correct you on this. Now yeah. I have checked, and officially, I haven't heard the police release what they said. There were some AR-15s and some uh, AKs in the room, but I haven't heard the official report that they said what he used. Right. Okay, I just want to clear the record. No, 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 I got you. But, no, I know the media has been jumping on it saying that, well, they only used AR-15. That's the only things they're showing. And, of course, if you're going to do yeah. gun control, you've got to stick with what you're trying to go after. Which that, is the AR- you're absolutely right. Yeah, they're trying to control the AR-15s. Yeah, yeah, the AR-15s, which is ridiculous because anybody that comes out of the military, they're so conditioned to AR-15s. What do you think they buy? They always buy AR-15s. And but on so, that note, twenty-three up to twenty-three weapons right now in the room. Yeah. Right. Any gun collectors and all that? Real quick, I don't think they have twenty-three AR-15s. <laughs> Good point. Good point. All right, we're going to break. When we come back, we'll try to pick up some calls. So. You're listening to the Truth Frequency Radio Network. No hate, no hype, no, 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 no fear. Welcome back to Strange World, part two of four. I got United States Army Master Gunner Brian Burton, and we're talking, we're talking Vegas is what we're talking about, and how, it, yeah, did something happen? Sure. Did people die? Sure. Was it as advertised? Not a chance in hell. No way. Six hundred rounds from an AR-15 from that window. Okay, first off, you're not going to use an AR-15. Second, if you do, you're going to be melting barrels right and left. 600 rounds you're going to be changing mags all over the place and i how many mags that's 20 mag 20 mags at least if you're using 30 round mags minimum uh, you're burning those th- suckers out plus you're going to use a 762 plus there were muzzle flashes seen from the 10th story that's on video right now and we've got audio recordings showing shots being fired from two very different locations one from the hotel one from the grounds 
Interesting, interesting stuff. But let's pick up some calls in the meantime because these guys have been on hold. I'm going to pick up Alhambra first. I'm going to pick up Beverly Hills second. I'm going to pick up New York third. So let's do it real quick. And let's do Alhambra, California. You are on live with Strange World. What's going on, California? Hey, what's up, Mark? How's hey. it going, man? Going pretty good. So I'm going to be meeting with you this coming Sunday out in Pasadena for the big California meetup. Yeah. Uh, are you good with the airport and everything, dude? Or am I picking you up at the airport? Uh, do you want to pick me up at the airport? I can. Let's do it. I, that was the whole you reason got, why you were flying also, into I'll, Ontario. Yeah, I'm flying into Ontario. That's why I was flying to Ontario, because you said it'd be easier. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you. I'll dude, send I got you, no problem picking you up, man. Okay. I'll send you the info uh, after the show if you don't already have it, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. But we got we got time. It's only Tuesday. Dude, I do this for like a living, bro. <laughs> like that's what I do. I'm an Uber right driver, man. I I, I know. up in the airport and get them where they need to go. Like it's in, okay. Like it's no big deal. It's no problem. It's another right trip. On. I'm, I know I'm looking for. Well, no, I, I, was, I was hoping I was hoping I'd meet you first anyway. Yeah, no problem, dude. I can pick you up. Uh, I'm I'm totally looking forward to you getting here, dude. Uh, it's awesome having you. Uh, everything's all set up. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, cool. There's already like I don't know, like 25 or 30 people that responded through social media, right? On. And they're bringing other people. Very and then, cool. yeah, uh, dude, there should be quite a few people, uh, people that haven't even responded that are just going to show up. Yeah. If whoever, whoever's uh, out there, dude. if you guys want to, you want to meet me and talk flat earth, I'm going to be at the luggage room pizzeria in Pasadena, California this Sunday at four, right? Yep. Cool. Sounds and good. Like, you know what? Even what? the people that listen to you that don't believe in this, if they yeah. want to show up, they're more than welcome, man. That's All right. part of what this is for. That's yeah. to learn things, to to take a different look at things, you know? It's I, really, I, really interesting. Like, this whole Vegas thing, man, that's... Yeah. Uh, I, it, I, it, I it is... I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't understand people's thinking, man. Like, my whole family is just completely just sucked into that. Like, why? Why? Would and I just took a step back and I was like, "What's going on?" You know. Don't forget, a lot of people they want to trust the mainstream media. They they do. We're we're conditioned to do that. My sister, perfect example, from God's lips to Fox News. If it doesn't come out of Fox News, she doesn't even give it a uh, uh, half a bit of attention. So when people say there was a lone gunman and shot up the place, the thing is that, that what they don't, they keep forgetting is the attention span of the lowest common denominator out there is so short that this time next week, we, it won't even be on uh, the news feeds for like CNN and the big ones. I accept maybe some of the gun control angle. The rest of it won't. I mean, like are we even talking about Puerto Rico today. There, that, that place isn't even around anymore. It's like not even a, a Puerto Rico shouldn't even be on the map right now. Trump went there today, remember? Right, he did. And then he's then he's going to be flying from there straight to uh, to Vegas. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, Josh, any um any last words? Because unfortunately, I've got to I got to like pump pump through these calls. Yeah, dude, no problem. Uh, I just say. Thank you for uh, coming to LA, bro. Uh, hey. I want to say thank you to my buddy that helps help me set this up as well. Uh, cool. And on top of that, I'd like to say what's up to Brian. Uh, not to talk to you, man. Uh, thank you very much for your service, bro. Oh, thank you for your uh, much respect for that. Right on. Uh, like most Americans, I don't agree with what the army is doing. <laughs> but <laughs> most I mean, half the army doesn't agree with what the army does, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Mark, All right, man. we'll be talking quite a bit this weekend, so I'll talk to you later, man. Okay. Talk to you soon. All right. Let's pick up Beverly Hills, California. Beverly Hills. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> hey, Mark, how are you world. doing? It's Andy and Ross. Andy hey, and Ross. Hey, Mark. Hi. What's hey, going Mark. on, guys? What's up, man? Well, we were thinking about the shooting today, man. Or, uh, you know, on Sunday. Pretty, yep. pretty scary stuff. Yep. I was hearing about what you're saying in terms of the, what, the barrels melting? At that oh, distance. yeah, yeah. You what can... do you mean exactly? When you fire, a lot of people don't know this because you got to really shoot a lot. But if, you can do this even on semi-auto. When you shoot things, in fact, they've made movie references every once in a while because if you shoot uh, um, anything, you put enough rounds fast enough, the friction from the bullet and the heated gases heat up the barrel so much that you need a you need a chance right. for it to cool to cool down. And if you even right, pump, right, and you're saying it just melts. Well, not it. It melts enough to where the gun just won't function anymore. I got a good example for right. you. Right. So what okay. you heard on the video, like what, what you heard it, on the video, was that enough to make it like melt? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what oh, you're it would. Uh, Brian can chime in on this one. Go ahead. First of all, okay. think of it like running your your engine and your car, your piston going up and down in the shaft without oil. Right. Yeah. Okay. So when you fire, sure, sure, okay, as, okay. As you fire the bullets through there. They're all air cooled, so the air they have to cool down a bit. That's why, even on machine guns, you fire. Right, first. that's why they do. Right. First fire, right. Right. The, the in fact, the early okay. machine guns used to be water cooled. Yes, back they did. In the, back in the day, and the Germans, when they uh, the Nazis, when they came up with their uh, super super high fast machine guns, the MG twenty, uh, sorry MG forty two, they had to swap out barrels. They had to, you know, after the, they could only fire so much, and then they had to take that barrel off and put a new one on. And you still the, do this right, day. right? Yeah, yeah, we still do it now. So yeah, six hundred rounds. You bet you could you could freeze up a gun in very very quickly. And what kind of bullet is this? What kind of bullet you said that it wouldn't hurt people at that distance, or it wouldn't a, even a, be lethal? You were saying what kind of bullet is that? A five, an AR-15 round from that distance. It, it can be lethal. Let's was? be clear. It, it so, still can be lethal. It'll hit you in the right spot, but. The velocity slows down. Okay. The, the bullet's made to hit you, hit a bone, and start bouncing around inside you. Right. It's a subsonic bullet. And it and it's and it again it loses. Basically, you want to shoot the the one of the great principle of wars is never changed, and that is deliver as much energy as possible as quickly as possible. So a really really right. light bullet, like anything, uh, just slows down quicker. And so a heavier right. bullet. No, is, yeah, that's. So you you want to use a heavier but bullet, Mark? What if there was no gun fire? What if there was no gun fired at all? Well, that's just it. That's that's the other side of it, which is. Well, could so you, you do you think there's no one that died? Well, I don't know. In, in something like this, why not just a bigger? It's like a bigger Sandy Hook mixed with uh, Ariana Grande in Manchester. It's just a bigger. It's just a big mixture of everything on a bigger scale. Yeah, I mean, it's with, it's. Uh, it's possible. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go so far as to say that there were no bodies at all. Because honestly, if you send people right, trampling, right. you you may lose people just in the trampling. You, you spook spook cattle. You're gonna lose some yeah, you, just when they're running. You can't hire twenty two thousand crisis actors, right? No, I mean, well. no. But what you could do if you wanted to, and this is where it gets clever. Because again, this is so new. We're only a few days into this. No, this is a great one. This is a great one. I, I oh yeah, yeah. People will be so breaking this down. Wow, for, this is serious. Yeah, where you could hire crisis actors for the front rows, because all it takes right. is the people. You, all you want to do is generate the panic. If you have like even even fifty people, even a hundred people that go, "Holy crap! Holy crap!" The people behind them are going, "Wait, wait, what's <laughs> happening? What's happening?" And then you introduce some gunfire. Right, Let's put it this way, though. If you, I don't know if you heard the first so part of the show. Half real, half fake, half augmented reality. Yeah. There was, yeah, there you go. There was a muzzle flash happening from. The uh, from the tenth, tenth floor, tenth floor of that building, and that muzzle fourth flash. Floor? I saw fourth. I don't know. Okay, fourth, tenth uh, at night. What? However you want to say it. But I it was see right, fourth. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Whatever. It was low. It was low in the building, but it was a real muzzle yeah. flash for what you could tell. So, and there was yeah. there was there was Solid. sounds. The question is, was that muzzle flash real, or was he shooting blanks? 
and if why was he in that position? Because if you're that low, that's a that's a t- way tougher shot. So it was tricky. I, like, go, go ahead. Is there, but but the the I point mean, is, they heard is, people. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I mean, I saw a video that said that, well, there's been a lot of witnesses that said they saw multiple shooters, and there has to be if there's going to rack up 60 deaths. I mean, right. you can't really get that amount of, on one, especially the gun you're speaking of and the bullets you're speaking of, you can't really rack up 60 no. deaths. No, you can't. Can't. In, nine minute, in nine minutes, they're saying it's. They're saying there's nine minutes of official shooting time. <laughs> even, yeah, even if I had they a just belt. Released that. Even if I had a belt fed seven six two, I would be tough pressed to you know because you'd have to be yeah. just cranking. Plus, it, it, here's the other thing, which I, and once I don't want to go. Scatter, to, well, once they scatter, then yeah, then you're then you're then it's a video it game. It becomes then, even then harder. You, yeah. And plus, if it's just me, but that's if what I'm, would happen. If I'm going for broke again, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I'm going to use tracers. Yeah. Just to give me a kind of a better idea of what where my placement is, and and right, right. So if I'm if I, now if I'm not using tracers, that means that I don't want to be seen. But it's like, okay, what do you mean I'm not want to be seen? You're shooting a machine gun outside of a, out, out a hotel window. You're gonna get <laughs> caught eventually. Exactly. So yeah. what exactly? Why aren't you using tracers? And you don't use tracers because you don't want it to be followed back in video. Because it's one thing to say there's a muzzle flash on the fourth floor. It's another thing to say, oh yeah, by the Actually, way, those that tr- makes a lot of sense. So uh, it's it's that yeah, makes a lot of sense. Just, what you just said there, the tracers. We're just getting yeah, tracers. That's, that's one of the things that's missing. Because if I, I mean, was going to do it, tracers they're scary, easy to but, get. But wait, they're they're not illegal. Yeah, you can, and they Absolutely. really really would. I mean, that, I wouldn't do it without it. Because it's like, oh yeah, that's where I'm hitting. Geez, yeah. I'm way off. I'm hitting the concession you, stand. You don't know what you're hitting exactly. No, you don't know what you're hitting. No. You don't even know if you're getting close. Hey, it's Andy here. I have a quick question. So can we at least agree that if that if uh if people were actually shot and killed, can we at least agree that they were not shot and killed from that thirty second floor? That's what I would I at the very least, that's what I would say. There's there's way yeah, more to sure. this than for the, sure. Now, if you really want to get into some of the darker, weirder stuff, and that is okay, if it's obvious, oh, yeah, we want to get weird. Dude. There's, there's, if there's at least three different cameras that are showing muzzle flashes from the fourth floor, right? Then why were the police being directed to the 32nd floor? And why was there no, there's no chatter on the police band that was released or, or recorded by anybody? Of why they didn't go to the fourth floor. We'll say fourth just for that. You want to get really weird with this? Of course. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Do Here's a theory. Okay. Okay. I think there was shooters there. Okay. And they shot in there. And I don't think the authorities knew about it. I think this has thrown them for a loop. You mean the the shooters were so spread out that the police just figured, okay, well, it's, they had no idea where they what was going on. I don't think this was a conspiracy planned out or anything like that. I think this caught them off guard. Here's why. Okay. I'll say here's why. Okay. Out of all the shootings you've all, everyone, all these, from Oklahoma City bombing to Sandy Hook to Columbine right. to all this stuff. Yeah. Nothing has followed the standard procedures they always give out. We know the guy. I mean, what they caught, what, Timothy McVeigh for Oklahoma City within an hour. Right, right, right. And released all his information within two or three hours of who he was and his background history. They haven't, quote, released. So the cops can go to the 32nd floor floor instead of the 4th floor? Yeah, yeah. That would mean that they're in on it, too, is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. They're covering up. They don't know what they're doing, okay? But I think they're, they don't have it scripted, planned out. This isn't going with their script. You're saying they're covering up their ineptitude? Meaning, yeah, yeah the, the cops, Absolutely. it's very possible that in, in, because you don't get like anything. You don't need everybody to be on it, in on it. You need things to happen naturally. But in right. this case, yeah. for whatever reason, they completely went to the wrong place. In fact, you know what threw me also was that well, there was a, supposedly oh. a security guard that was dropped in the hallway of the 32nd floor. Which meant that whoever it was, it was like, why would you shoot the security guard in the leg and let him live? Yeah, but here's the other issue. Right. Think about what they have released on the guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he was shooting a country. Okay, let's face it. He was shooting a redneck concert up. I'm a redneck too, so it's okay. Yeah. With police and veterans there. <laughs> right. So 
he was shooting a conservative group up, right? Right. Usually it's against an LBGT mm -hmm. or oh yeah 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 like that. We're shooting that up F using a full auto weapon. Right. Right. So now their gun bans don't work because it's a full auto weapon. Right. It doesn't work to ban AR-15s. You can't mm -hmm. get a full auto weapon unless you have your class three license. Blah 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 blah, which is possible to get. Right. But that goes through a big security check. So that exactly. means their security check failed. So this doesn't help their gun banning rights. Doesn't help the oh, Democrats. Yeah. Meaning, meaning so it's it's possible this guy was a patsy because if if there was a legitimate guy with a full auto, fully automatic weapon, which I fully believe it was, again, you what, what Brian was saying, to get a Class 3 license, absolutely you can get a machine gun if you want to. But the process you have to go through is lengthy and not cheap. At all. I mean, not not just the, the fee and, you have to and, pay. Go ahead. And this guy's a multimillionaire. Like, the guy's a multimillionaire. Like, did you hear his brother? His brother was, like, kind of shocked about the whole thing. And one more thing I have to say about that. All right. um, I walked, I watched a Tupac film, like a uh, Tupac's murder, and yeah. they basically drew the conclusion that that Nevada police district is, like, corrupt as hell. And so I thought that was very interesting because that same Nevada police district. Yeah. And uh, I just thought that was an interesting connection. That is interesting. A lot of things were shrouded in, right? Yeah. Like, well, that's, very that's interesting. Vegas. <laughs> Say that's it again, right? I mean. and, you know, it's Vegas. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's Vegas. Gambling yeah. across two. Well, anyway, we're, we're going to be chewing on this one oh, for a while. I hate, I, I hate to do this to you guys. We don't even but... know if anyone died or not yet. We don't yet. I mean, let's, we can't even more, agree one, on if anyone died. That changes everything. One more wrinkle, Either and that way, is, yeah, when you're different. looking at, when you look at, when people start analyzing the footage, which they're going to over the next few days, of the ground, because, you know, there was bright lights on the ground, I didn't see 50 people face down there's that no weren't footage. going anywhere. And no, I, no, there's and, no blood or death or anything. And 500 people wounded, it's like there would be people that would be immobilized, <laughs> so there'd be a whole bunch of people. Exactly. It would, Where'd they go? Exactly. It would look kind of like Jonestown in in a way. So right. anyway, I, hey, yeah, guys, I hate dude. to do this to you. I got wow. a whole bunch of calls I got to pick up, but we'll talk more, okay? All right. All, All right. right. All Thanks, right. guys. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. All right. We're going to pick up uh, New York. Here we go. Start spreading the news. <clears throat> <laughs> Hello, Mark. How are hey. you? I'm good. Hello, What's Master on? Gunner. Hey, Zulu. Uh, not much. <laughs> Listening to this Vegas crap is weird, man. I know. Uh, I don't know. Two two things immediately were, like, attracted me because I thought, all right, maybe this is something legit, you know, some asshole. And the rate of fire, the cyclical rate of fire. Yep, rate of fire. Didn't sound right. I'm like, I'm like there's no way that's an AR. And I don't think even the AR that's modified to fire 308 fires that slow it it just didn't sound right i mean I, I i've never fired a fully automatic ar but i've seen enough video of them and ak's to know what they sound like and i've been around them i fired them before i know what they sound like and that was no two two three five five six no way exactly exactly it didn't plus, sound like well at the, least the, to me plus to me. the long bursts were too long it was, the long burst was like, okay, well, that gets rid of your 30-round mags. That takes you down to either a drum or belt-fed. Here's something you, you can do. Right, a beta mag. Well, a beta mag can hold 100, sure. but that photo that I saw of the room, those it had two those regular 30s on it. Those weren't them. There's, those were 30s. There's, right. Hey, Zulu, there's two videos you need to check yes, out sir. or anybody else. Okay, one, check out the videos about the – bump thing whatever they call that darn thing that makes ar fire the, bu the bump stock a whole lot of right yes yeah. yes watch that video yes, yep, yep, yep. watch how fast they I've go through that. the round and listen to it right and it's not a steady rate yes second thing is there's a good video right. i showed you this earlier mark a guy goes through and melts down an ar-15 yep 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 i saw that how many rounds did he fire through it to melt it i'm just not curious. even not even 400 and that was an A that was an AK wow. with a wood stock and the and the wood on it caught fire. 
It was, yeah. and, and you can, yeah. there's videos like that all over the place. Gun guys, real serious gun guys, they love doing that. It's like, let's see how many rounds it takes to burn out this barrel. Right. And the barrel let's gets. Let's show you the movie stuff that doesn't work. Yeah. The barrel gets so hot that whatever's surrounding it can't take it. You know, that's why you, you can have see the those... barrels turn red hot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So sure. it's, it's ridiculous. But the, um, uh, but yeah, the other thing, of course, from that photograph that I sent you was they were they were AR-15s. But here's the weird part. They were both they both had bipods. They both had scopes. That's like, OK, one, if you're but then they the one of the police photos removed, you know, one of the ARs supposedly didn't have a scope, had a heads up display instead and a, uh, no bipod. It had like a, a forward grip handle on it. And it's like, OK, where where did that one come from? And you know what? And plus. I thought Sorry. the furniture in the room looked odd for the Mandalay Here's the Bay about that furniture. And carpeting. Yeah. Here's two, I got to say something about that. So that picture, here's my problems with it. Okay, even if you use those ARs, great. A, it's that nice slow nylon carpeting they use there, which burns or melts. Yeah. yeah. Hot rounds falling on it, they would melt it. Second of all, if you notice like the chair. And there's no casings in the photo. There's, well, no, no, there's casings. No, no, but... There's casings. Oh, There's I didn't on see him. Top sorry. of the chair. There's a picture yeah. with the that shows the chair. Casings are under the chair. Nothing's on top of the chair. <laughs> Chairs to the right of the window where he yeah. can fire and ejects to the right. Yeah. Now I'm no and Mr. Monk or anything. And there's not there's not nearly enough casings. Not even close. And no. again, that's that's yeah. you're assuming if you're believing that story that he's using a five five six, which that's is right. just too right. lightweight. Plus, there should be mags everywhere. There should be a prone shooter setup. And, and oh, my God. It's, Here's plus, the other know, problem, too. Yeah. 23 weapons. So many hinky things. Ammunitions, but it took the police 72 minutes to find him, and he still had all that ammunition left over. Magazine's full. Right, yeah. And the rifles yeah. and everything. That, I mean, that the, the photos of the air. Yeah, when he'd been completely... still shooting. It was completely set up to go after the AR-15 again. It's like, look, gun rights people. You're never getting rid of the AR-15s. There's just too many of them out there. You're never getting rid of them. Yeah. Plus, plus they're made by military contractors and subcontractors. It's the standard U.S. military weapon. You are never going to get rid of it. Those companies are too big. And I'm, I'm not trying to be pessimistic or, or anything for people that are anti-gun. It's like, look, unless you can buy out Remington or Winchester or Smith & Wesson or Colt or Ruger or Beretta, and I can just go on and on and on, right? And those are just yeah. the American ones, right? Unless this you is how buy... bad you can go on. You know who my, my wife when I was in the Army knew who made it? Huh. Mattel. What? Mattel. I, they I was going to throw that out there. Out. I knew that. Yep. Because because of the just like yep. you know, there's Ford Jeeps back in World right. War II. Ford made Jeeps. Chrysler made Jeeps. Chrysler oh, made no. I I bought the only time I bought a five five six ever in my life was when I bought a Bushmaster version of it for uh, my girlfriend for Christmas. She was ex army. Yes, nice. I know, right? And I you know, gave her like the the M two hundred three version with that flare launcher underneath it. Anyway, we got uh, two minutes to the break. Uh, what else you got, Mark? Oh man, yeah, I got, I got, I got. Oh, oh man, I'm, I might have to stay through the break. I, I'm dying. Uh, right. The the other thing, the crowd, the crowd. Okay, you're watching the video. Yeah. You hear the rounds going off. Look at right. the sea of people. There would immediately be. I'm sorry if there's hundreds of rounds landing near me. I'm fucking running people over and going. The right. crowd isn't even reacting. It's, it's like, well, what are we supposed to do? Were we told we were supposed to duck? What, 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 what I, was it? You know what? You know, I and, hate to say this, Zulu. Uh, very weird. From very weird. I've seen crowds do that, where they just freeze in place, drop yeah. to the ground. Yeah, uh, maybe deer in headlights. They, you might be right. They, they are. I mean, the couple in the front are like, what the? You might get a couple of running, but then people are like, what's going on? Especially at a concert. But if there's, I mean, you might be right about the people dying a, could have been run over, stampede. Uh, you could be right about that. It, it's tough to say. I'm sorry. I just when you saw the lights when everyone left, you know, after that first surge of people left, the people that you know, other than all the trash and all of the apparently a million water bottles, except for the water bottles and junk on the yeah. ground, I just didn't see enough people to warrant the numbers. For it's like, look, I agree with I, you on that, Mark. A hundred. Let's say, let's see how the five hundred wounded, hundred were mm. leg shots. Those aren't people aren't going anywhere. 
or the people that got glancing blows in the head, or you know, who knows? I I would would have seen. Yeah, a lot I didn't hear more. people screaming in pain. There you go. I didn't hear that. It would have been I, like I mean, a Vietnam movie. I mean, you would. Yeah. You would, I, oh, sorry, we're gonna we're gonna be going. Well, you know what, Mark? Stay through the break, and then I swear we will try awesome. to pick up. Thank uh, you. I, I, no, no, no. Just make. Yeah, make, I'll be quick. Don't no, put yourself on mute though, and then uh, we'll pick okay. up Westchester after Mark, and then Texas after that. Be back in a bit. Hello, YouTube. I hope you're well. Spotlight. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from, 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 from deception. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. I have United States Army Master Gunner Brian Burton apparently knocking crap over on his Heck side. Yeah. Trying, trying to run back to the microphone. And we have Mark from New York on the line. Are you still there, Mark? Yes, I am. Oh, Mark. <laughs> I'm Brian. So, so we're, we're talking Vegas. And uh, where did we leave off exactly? What was the... Uh, uh, well, we were things... talking about the crowd reaction, the videos. Oh, right, right, um, right. I, I, would, I, I definitely think some weird stuff's going on. I don't know. I think Brian, Brian's right. Master Gun is right about their ineptness. Maybe they're hiding it because what all the scripted stuff they have, they always have all this background, all this information, right. and they shove it in our faces. Right. And this, now everything's yeah, wishy-washy. The they don't know I've who he is. This is that he worked for um, Lockheed Martin, 85 to 88. You have three years of data on the guy, and that's it? Yeah. Yeah, the backstory on this guy is thin, <laughs> to say the least. Of all the yeah. backstories of all the people we have heard about over the years, this one's got to be the, the worst. It's like, okay, he was an accountant. He was 64. Uh, you know, that puts him in a... At a, at a whole different bracket. Uh, yeah, he played a hundred dollar a yeah. hand po- poker from time to time. But you're telling me he filled up a hotel room with, with guns, and then just decided to attack what was a country music uh, concert. From, and don't right. forget, right? What was he, he so angry about? He mounted cameras in the hallways, and the maids didn't, didn't pick up on that. No, I didn't hear up on that. I didn't hear that. Oh, he had cameras mounted on the outside of the hallway, so he could see when the SWAT team was coming in. What? That's Oh yeah, that and they've even... sent them, really? they all the digital feed to the FBI in the East. Oh, here's the other thing: all the weapons. I did hear this. What? All his weapons have been sent east to Langley for the FBI to. Well, the feds were going to take take over this anyway. But oh, okay, oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, for, right. for those of you who are, who are trying to play catch up here, and again, this is homework for you to. Uh, digest after the show is over which is go into YouTube type in two things type in Vegas two shooters or Vegas muzzle flash and you will find out what we've been running into this afternoon which is there was the muzzle flash that I was looking for for all the videos recently showed up but it wasn't where we were looking we were all told to look up in the 32nd floor the muzzle flash was way way down there below the 10th floor could have been the right that was weird yeah, so why was the that muzzle was flash down the strange. fourth floor? And those windows weren't broken out. <laughs> so and what are those windows made out of? 
You know, I mean, people go there and try to kill themselves every year. You know, I mean, I'm a big guy. I could pick up a desk and try and throw it through it, you know, but can I? Is that glass that strong? What well, is that stuff? and and how was it busted through with some a hammer? I don't know what type of hammer that was, but it was small. Yeah, I don't know the details. I would have taken a, a I don't know an eight pound sledge, something to, you know to really give it. I mean, that hammer the and the the picture that was staged was so convenient. It's like okay, yeah, but, two two rifles. On, Mark, carry what? all those weapons up there and then carry an eight pound sledge. That's a little much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, whatever. Plus, and, plus the picture. And they you guys, said they found. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. The the picture where they show they him they... with the with the rifles standing over him and the hammer next to the the drapes in the window. People, did get, take a look at that picture, guys. He's wearing loafers. Oh, I didn't see <laughs> that one. Like all the all the tactical gear, and you're really you're not going to go in with with tactical shoes. Come on, come on. Uh, not yeah, also, yeah, 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 I know. Sorry, go ahead. Either one of you. The AR-15s were clean. Yeah. Fire 800 yeah. rounds through that thing. You yeah. didn't have carbon on the barrel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, and they would have yeah, been smoking be and they would have they would have melted the carpet. No, mm-hmm. the AR-15 was not, or whatever the hell they say they used here, was not the weapon of choice here. No way, no how. There was no way. Again, listen to the shots. And, and when you see that thing, when you see finally see the muzzle flash from the fourth floor of that building, you're looking, I'm looking, I mean, either you can disagree with me but i'm now, i see it i'm looking at a belt fed uh rifle at that point i highly believe it's belt yeah fed. i think it, it, i told you in the beginning yeah it yeah. sounded like a 240 for sure yeah. definitely yeah i made the so, right, look look that look that up guys when you get a chance m240 they are super expensive to to buy as well and and let me let me clear oh, one yeah. up real quick you, if you and this, I'm not giving tips to people. It's like, look, because the, the media will po- paint it in a different way. They'll say, "Oh no, this it is illegal for people to own machine guns." No, it is not. You can go out and buy a machine gun tomorrow if you wanted to. You have to fill out a ton of paperwork, and there is an extensive background check on you. You have to pay the transfer stamp. You have to pay a five hundred dollar a year a lot fee. Of money. And not only not only do people, the feds have to interview you to make sure you're okay. I mean, you really have to talk to you in person. But you actually have to let your local sheriff's department, wherever you're living, you have to let them know you're a class three user. And that you have these weapons, the per- and the sheriff's department has to say, okay, well, now we know. And then that's 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 once you get all that, then you actually have to buy one, and they will cost you. What was the M two forty I sent you guys? It was like twenty seven thousand dollars for yeah. for a, yeah. for, for a belt fed M two forty, and that's if you get it legally. You go on the black market, you're going to pay even more for it. And and yeah, the reason three why. Times the price. Here's here's the problem. The reason why this this particular instance, this this incident, was so unique is that automatic weapons are not used in this sort of crime. They're not. If you're a Colombian drug lord fighting another Colombian drug lord, you're going to be using automatic weapons all day long. But most people stay away from these because the penalties are so freaking stiff. If you are caught, for example, even criminals stay away from them for the most part. You know, your, your day-to-day criminals. Because if you are caught with an unlicensed machine gun, it's 10 years, period. They do not, you do yeah, not pass go. There is no, there is no time off for good behavior. You do 10 years. And so this, that's why this makes it so strange. It's never been done, which is why uh, Brian's comment, I think, was very telling, which is, it's like, look, there's something else going on here. Like something got out of control. St- something may have started, but nobody got a handle on it. Because the backstory, this guy is a complete mystery to everybody. So now everyone's just speculating all over the place. You know, there's trying to make ISIS connections. That's not sticking. Gambling debts, that's not sticking. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a racial shooting or an LBG. No, it's not a shooting. racial shooting. Uh, it doesn't match it's, anything. It's, it's like this guy wasn't an activist online. He wasn't a conspiracy guy. I mean, where, where are you going with this? Plus, he's 64. I, I'm sorry. There's just no. It is. It is. It is a complete mess right now. And no, the the backstory is just getting worse and worse. And once they did the AR-15 today, I was like, oh great. So that's that's what you're going to try to link it to. But nobody's gonna nobody's gonna go for it because everyone heard machine no. gun. The audio was too good. In fact, if you guys get a chance, 
type in a uh, Vegas taxi driver uh, where the that was a video was released just recently where a taxi driver just held his phone outside the window. And you could hear, I mean, it was heavy automatic weapons fire, stuff you would hear in a demilitarized zone. So anyway, sorry, it's my little, my little, <laughs> so. No, I it's hear just, you. It definitely was in the air. That's all I could feel. Yeah, That's the only thing I feel that I'm am certain I, am of. I, Am I saying that nothing happened? No, of course something happened. Some of the taxi driver's video was compelling. People running all over the place, running over the freeway, running into a, uh, an airport. Just pre- you know that, that part was natural. The people that were panicking, because again, there can't be that many crisis actors. Yeah. The people who were panicking were legitimately right. panicking, getting into his cab and freaking out. They, it's like, just drive, yeah. just run over people. We don't care. And you know, Thousands just, of people dead. Run, 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 right. run yeah. away. So that part, but um, more, all right. more to it, yes. Sorry, go ahead. No, I, I just want to be quick so I can get off. I know you want to talk to other people. And yeah. um, they they said they found ammonium nitrate in his car. Of course. And I like CNN, Wolf Blitzer right away. Oh, my God, a significant amount of – he didn't say significant shit. He just said that was in the car. So right. who knows what it Why? was. But why would you have ammonium nitrate Why? why? Exactly. <laughs> why, why would you have that in the car – if because every active shooter knows every cop for 20 fucking miles is on the way right okay and you are going to die you're not leaving there no and, and they know this yeah. what well, there was no planning to leave you know no. I, just weird 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 things aspects and, and, of it and again but I, I I want, throw, oh go, go ahead go, no go ahead go ahead oh. Oh, well I, I i don't have a quote but i wanted to talk about the orville the show the last episode was absolutely a flat earth episode it was so cool it was an enclosed world they lived in a giant spaceship they find them floating in space and they were just trying to uh, it's just amazing you got to watch the show all right all right the the quote i have for you it absolutely was is uh an expert is a person who has made all the mistakes that can be made in a very narrow field that's by niels bohr nice yeah. Uh, I actually, I got a quote for you. Okay, go. And then I got to switch. Uh, what do you got? The, uh, treat others better than you treat yourself. And that's by uh, Mark Sargent. <laughs> uh, nice. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, yes. <laughs> and shout out to Uber, Candy, Nathaniel, everybody, Wes. Awesome talking to you guys. Love you. Nice oh. talking to you, Brian, Master Gunner. Thank you for yep. serving. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, I'll say goodnight, and you can get some other people on. All right, man. Talk to you soon. All righty. All right. I'll see you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm jealous that you're going to Cali. Can I rent <laughs> you for the weekend if I pay for your flight? Will you come out? <laughs> if you pay for me to come out, yes, I will come out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is oh, awesome. <laughs> I know. I, I sounded like a call girl. Anyway, love you. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. All right. I just muted him. Okay, so let's pick up uh, Westchester, New York. Westchester. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm here, Mark. <laughs> he wasn't ready. I'm here, Mark. Turn what what, what, here. Can, I, what right. can I do for you? Oh, jeez. Okay, you know, I mean, there's so much you guys have been talking about tonight. With the, how, I, you know what? I'm sorry. I have, I have no um, military background or all whatsoever, and I can't. Uh, That's okay. Just the just, the, we'll, we'll, uh, the, that. the boiled down version is rifle that they claimed was too small. That's all you need to know. <laughs> okay. Too okay. That's small. all I need to know. But my God damn, you know, I'm sorry about my language. You know, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about this flat earth situation. Is this causing everything that's going on right now? Just to buy more time. Uh, I don't know. You mean buy more time for the powers to be? Everybody. I don't. I don't. You know, know. what? I, I mean, I, you know, some politician says I don't. I don't need this. I don't want this in my in my in my town. I don't want anything like this anywhere around. Just just do something. Do something to buy more time. That's hmm. what I'm worried about. I don't know. That's interesting, though. That you would say that I had uh, nobody's really brought that to me. I I do know that, that somebody from another country created a web page and tried to to tie the shooter directly to flat Earth, I which saw that. We, yeah, which was false, of course. Yeah. But and it didn't get any traction yeah, at all. Usually, 
Yeah, but I was a little amazed that somebody actually spent the time to, to create. It was sort of like that Google story that some Google Earth developer was also a flat earther. And, you know, that that was also a fake story. But it, somebody spent the time to, to build it. And honestly, they could have done that with this if they really wanted to. Yeah, you know, they could have. They could have easily said this guy was a conspiracy uh, nut and tied him to some of the flattered stuff, and it would have gotten some traction, I would have thought. But they didn't. So I wouldn't sweat it yet. I wouldn't. Don't. You know, everything. No, no, I'm not sweating it. I'm just. Like, in, in a we, honestly, in a week, nobody's even going to be talking about Vegas. And I hate to say that because it makes me sound callous, but it's, it's not me. It is the speed of media now. We don't. No, absolutely. I mean, we don't. We don't know actually what really happened. How many people no. really have gotten injured? How many people have? No. I mean, you know, I've, I've I've spoken to many people here in my town. I mean, in New York, of course. Mm-hmm. And I don't. I don't see any blood. I don't. I don't. I don't see any. Yeah, there's even less know, blood than normal. Even though that. the witnesses always use that same line, and you can all say it with me now. There was blood everywhere. They always say that. Yeah, Every, and it's just it's like there was blood everywhere. It's like no, 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 no. In Vietnam, there was blood everywhere. I didn't see any people that were rushed in with you know their shirts were covered in blood and and stuff. You, I didn't see this. People with brains on them. You know, you 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 think you'd hear some of those stories. People say, oh, somebody died in my arms. Somebody died here. It's like you, you wait mm-hmm. for the other stories, yeah, the ram the Rambo stories, where it's like. You know, when when you're sitting next to somebody, a pile of goo that used to be your best friend's face, you know, you don't hear those stories because they they don't want to, the writers of it don't want to make it that graphic, which is interesting. You know what else is funny? What? They haven't released yet. What? He was in a hotel. There's cameras in the hallways of the hotel. Yes. We haven't seen the what? videos of him walking to his room with his bags or anything like that. Oh, who, hell, dude. If you're, who else am I talking to over here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Brian Brian Burton, Master Gunner, United States Army. Army. Oh, okay, Mr. Um, Brian. Okay, thank you. Very nice to you. <laughs> I announced him at the beginning of the show. Did you not listen to the beginning of the show? Oh, well, That's I was okay. listening to the beginning of the show, but I didn't know he was actually going to do a yeah, free yeah, yeah. ball. That's he... fantastic. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah Brian's Master Gunner. Brian. Master Gunner. It, well, because I wanted him for his – because when we were talking about belt-fed machine guns – uh, Brian's actually, because he was on you know, a tank guy, he he had these uh, M240s that were on his tank. And he was the guy that initially suggested it to me. He was the one that said, oh, yeah, by the way, it sounds like a 240. I'm just going, you know, you're absolutely right. It does sound like that. Although for me, it would have been an M60. And it didn't sound enough. like an AK-40. Yeah, I AK, mean, it was an AK, AK's I, closer. I, I but don't again, know. AK, I mean, it's so difficult to tell with this. I mean, I have no idea. You know what? I have no <laughs> You know, we, you know the the gun control guy over there. That's it. He knows. So I have no Again, idea. Again, you you don't have to you don't have to stuff. remember that. We're we're, we're going to make it easy for you. And that is, just remember this: from the thirty second floor, what they say he was shooting with wouldn't have done the job. It just was not enough. You know, like you say, it's like not enough car. It this it was just not enough gun. It wasn't. I wouldn't. I personally, and I shoot. I would have not used it. You fact, in fact, if somebody would have said, "Oh yeah, you got to shoot the thirty-second floor. Here's what you're going to use." I'd be like, "What? No, no, no. Can I trade this in? There's no way I'm going to be able to do, to do the, the job from here. Not a chance." Well, like I said before, the the other problem too is he had twenty-three guns. I know he didn't have you know twelve AR-15s and twelve AKs. There you I go. Mean, what were the other guns? Exactly. They and then, yeah, initially apart. it was twelve. Then it was eighteen. Then it was twenty-three. It was ridiculous. There was, there was, it was all wrong. How do you get these things in the hotel room? You know, I mean, really, I mean, you know, yeah, he, they took 18 packages inside the cell. Well, they said he took 10 suitcases, but it's like those suitcases would have had to have been long suitcases. I would have used double. They break down pretty small. Yeah. But you know, like his friends, the people that have been like testifying for him, like he had a next door neighbor. His next door neighbor didn't even mention he was a firearms enthusiast and he lived with next to him for a year and drank beer in his front porch. Guy never even brought up guns. So if, if he is a patsy, he's a terrible, yeah, it's a terrible choice. I just yeah, if you don't got know 41 guns. You're going to let your neighbors know, Hey, look at my collection. Absolutely. <laughs> you are. You're, you're going to yeah. talk about gun rights. You're going to talk, you, you 
Uh, anyway, sorry. Anyway, uh, anything else you got? I, I do want to. I, I know it's going to take a little while to wind wind down with you. What's um? No, what else? no, I know, I know. Oh, of course it is. I mean, but but you do realize what what everything is has caused here. I oh, mean, yeah. it's just confusion, and <laughs> and that that's all it has. And <laughs> it just buy more time. I mean, unfortunately, maybe may I don't know who who is actually really who who are the casualties of the, of this. Uh, Riot who, who, and you mean who lost? Who who was the losers? You know, in this? We, we don't know. I mean, the you only know, thing, I mean, who the, actually died in this? We don't know. We I don't mean, know it's yet. It's a total tragedy. We don't know. We don't really know. And we will hear stories and we'll hear nonsense and we'll hear everything that's that's been said to us. Look, and look we for, have no idea what really is happening. Uh, that is true. If it's, again, when you get a chance, look this up online. Look this up on YouTube. If you get a chance after we're done, look up. Vegas two shooters or Vegas muzzle flash and then enjoy there are the especially the taxi driver one I really love that because you could tell I mean it was as clear as day that there was something shooting above him and there was something shooting in the distance probably at the concert itself so it's like okay two autumn two men with automatic weapons you know in two different locations why what to for to what end and you know that's the road we're gonna have to start going down yeah, no, absolutely. All so, right, Mark. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is uh, Chris from uh, uh, you know Westchester, New York, uh, in I'm, New York. Okay. So. Yep. Yep. Well, thank you and, for taking my call. All right. Hey, happy to do it, and we'll talk to you next time. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, let's grab. Let's uh, Texas. Let's try Texas. You ready? Here we go. Texas, you are on live with Strange World right now. What's up, Mark? It's Shannon. Hey, how are you? Good. I hadn't talked to you in a while. Well, that that happens. So, what's what's going on? <laughs> what's on your mind? Well, what's on my mind? I'm not. I missed the first thirty minutes of your show, so y'all may have already talked about this. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I know, you know, you're talking about the flash lower in the floor and all that. Right. But let's say he was on the 32nd floor. Let's say. And he was being held hostage. Hmm. Interesting. It, interesting thought. And, and they weren't using any of the weapons that were in that room. And oh. left, and were gone way before the police got there, and shot him. Very possible. That's good. I mean, that that's your standard conspiracy patsy right there. And that is, the, what do they call it in Minority Report, an orgy of evidence? You put a guy in a room with a whole bunch of guns, shoot him, and that's it. And then you put the tip to the police... I, I think it was more curious. You know, there's qu there's so many loose ends of this damn thing. I also think it's curious that there's supposedly two hotel rooms next to each other, that he actually rented two rooms, and there were windows busted out on each of the rooms. And yet, when you heard the right. sca police scanners, they only talked about going into one oh. room. They never, they never even mentioned the other room. They always talked about 135. It's like, what? Right, and this this guy, is he, he's so innocent, has no nothing record he's a nobody right you know accountant. like you said he he didn't brag about his guns his friends like man check out what i just got and, yeah you know yeah, it just seems very find, it oh seems, i know he seems find like me, a patsy yeah find me somebody that's going to come forward that's going to say oh yeah this guy was a complete nut job blah 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 i mean everyone's saying oh yeah he's a lone gun nut it's like yeah but you need motivation I want to hear what his girlfriend says when she gets back from the Philippines tomorrow. Oh, right. Uh, I do, uh, too. You know, and know. also I'm very curious that if if what I said is true, I mean, it makes sense with, you know, how they want to take our guns away from us right. to put someone that can't pass. Oh, he just went into a gun shop and he can, because he passed the well, Dead that's just crap. it. They're they're saying that he bought the the original guns legally and then converted them illegally. But even the conversion wasn't illegal. But he just doesn't fit the profile. 
It just doesn't. Right. So but, I, every, but nothing, the, nothing adds up with this guy. Nothing. Right. Plus, but what I'm saying is from a political standpoint, to stage this would be to say, well, we can't even trust the FBI profiling that we do at all these pawn shops to sell guns. So, in other words, we're going to have to just do away with the whole thing, and you can't buy guns anymore. Sorry, people. Because yeah. nothing's they, they worse can't than make that far of a jump, people. though. Yeah, yeah. That the jump you're talking about there is is too difficult to do. It's there's too there's too much oh, ground I, to cover. I agree. It is a huge leap. I'm saying this could be political. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lane, uh, you, you, maybe you know I mean, for the past. It's possible. It's just not going to do any good. Mostly because I hate to say this. Mostly because you used automatic weapons fire. People can't relate to it. We watch the movies. It's like, yeah, we see machine guns in movies every once in a while. But your day-to-day crimes are a shotgun, a pistol, a rifle. You don't know. Hell, I know a bunch of gun guys, and none of them own machine guns. So this is this is so far removed. It's not relating. You know, it's not resonating with anybody. It's like, well, what are you going to do? You know, he got a hold of machine guns. And there's not much... What? I mean, honestly, he might as well have been a mob hit guy. Anyway, we got about a minute to the break. You want to get any shout outs? What what else you got? Well, I also want to add, have you seen any, someone sent me a picture of him and also a person called Gene Rosen? Yep, Gene Rosen from the Sandy Hook debacle. Yeah. Oh, no, no, this isn't, this isn't Gene Rosen, (laughs) but, but it's interesting that he's an, yeah, yeah, it's not Gene Rosen. No, Gene Gene Rosen was a, had a very distinct look. This was not him. Plus, Gene was old. Gene was already probably, oh, wow. He, he Gene was older. And remember, Sandy Hook was a few years ago now. So, in fact, someone right. should look up and see how old. Gene, yeah, Gene Gene's older than this guy would be, if you believe this guy. Okay, well, somebody sent me a picture, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I know there'll be people doing that. No, this is not Gene Rosen. Not not the same guy. Gene Rosen he may be a lot of things, but he's not not this guy. Anyway, uh, we got to go break in 15 seconds. Any shout-outs? Uh, shout-out, you no, know, always to my husband, my son, and my mother-in-law. And also, I want to give a shout-out to Flat Electric because he's out there trying to spread some truth. Cool. All right. Well, that sounds Check good. him out if you want. All right. Hey, uh, we'll Y'all see you. Um... Have, have a great night. All right. You too, okay? Uh, hey. Check wallet for his name. His face is in the muck. I think his zipper's stuck. No hate. No hype. No fear. We are DFR. Your protection from, from deception. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four. Yes, that was Joe Jackson stepping out from his album, Night and Day. Okay, um, quick announcements before we go back to the callers. There are a few more. Uh, I'm going to be in Pasadena, California. That's Los Angeles this Sunday at the Luggage Room Pizzeria. That's October 8th, 4 p.m., Luggage Room, Pizzeria. If you want all the details for it on exactly how to get there, just type into YouTube, Flat Earth Pasadena, and you should find the trailer that I made. Phone number to call in is 213-233-3998. The other number is 720-897-6111. Both work just the same. I also should be, unless everything's every, everything should go fine, I will be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes with Patricia Steer tomorrow. That would be 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. So, Flatter's another hot potato. You're going to be on at 3 p.m.? 
<laughs> uh, no, no, I actually won't be on at 3 p.m. I will probably be on at 3.15, but you never know. And uh, somebody else chimed in. Not a drop of blood anywhere. The Mandalay Bay shooting. Oh, good. Uh, DITRH just sent me a link. I'll have to look at that after the show is over. Okay. We're talking Vegas. We're talking about the shooting. We're talking about stuff that you don't usually hear about, like muzzle flash. Type in Vegas muzzle flash, Vegas two shooters, a lot of stuff on YouTube. Grab them before they're pulled down. Very, very, I mean, compelling stuff already. Holy smokes, a lot of calls coming in. Uh, let's pick up uh, Twin Cities, Minnesota. Twin Cities, Minnesota. Are you there? I know you've been hanging on for a while. Yes, I'm here. How's my audio? Uh, your audio is pretty good. Good to go. All right. Um, long time, second time. What thing? Yeah. I'm, I was in the Navy, and I was a counterterrorism firearms instructor. Mm-hmm. And I kind of picked up the show late, but yeah. anybody that's ever shot in a military setting where you're allowed to go fully auto, mm-hmm. that's a workout, period, point blank. And I can't see a 60-some-odd-year-old man yep. just going ball to the wall fully auto when I, when I was in my 20s. Oh, hell, dude. You're, you're, oh, you're physically exhausted after, after just a you know, oh, quick yeah. evolution. I'm in my late 40s, and you're absolutely right. Going 600 minimum, 600 rounds of full auto fire when your adrenaline is just jacked up. Uh, yeah, you're you're going to be. It's going to be a tough tough sled, no question. So good point. Maybe that's why he wore loafers. And, yeah, that's why he wore loafers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I still right before he started. <sighs> I honestly and and I'm sorry I I know that I I may be the first person to mention this but I'm going to I'm going to take credit for it and that is if it's my show if it's if I'm the one doing this I'm using tracers maybe not every other round but I'm using them because if at that range you know at that distance especially if it's at nighttime oh it would have been so helpful you know then you could have actually followed your targets a bit so why didn't he he had nothing and to lose what one thing that uh, kind of caught my eye when I, the very first time I saw any of the uh, video footage was mm-hmm. the incident started and the lights w- on the stage went down, but then the overhead lights kind of illuminated the whole area. Right. Giving anyone that's like anyone. up in a, any type, like you can see exactly where the clusters are. You know and what? that's how maybe. Why not? not yeah, you're right. Why not? Involved. Why not leave it dark? Good point. Good point. Yeah, in fact, somebody was smart. It, it they... like... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying it, they lit it up like, you know, 4th of July or New Year's Eve or, you know, it's now. Uh, it's well, it was like a, probably a stage a security yard. Just... Yeah. Light on to see what's yeah, going yeah, on exactly. And, I mean, the the flip side would be, and it's a good, it's a decent argument. The flip side would be, well, we wouldn't want people stumbling over each other in the dark. So it's like turn on the lights. Right. Plus, you don't know where the where the shots are coming from. It's like, yeah, all right, that's fine. But yeah, it no, really I, helped. I'm, I'm not... It really helped the shooter situation and the photography situation. Right. They, they. I'm not saying that it was. I'm not going conspiratorial on that. I'm just. Yeah. There, there was a lot of things that played into the that scenario and i was my sister had a few questions for me and i was like there's when i brought up the the age and the amount of effort that it takes to do this i yeah automatically my mind clicked and said two shooters i don't know if they were in the same you know they were taking turns in windows or if there was a different location but and and i'll I'll, 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 go ahead go ahead no i was just going to say if anyone has a, a gun range in their vicinity, you can go to a gun range, rent yep. a fully automatic weapon after a quick course. Yep. And you tell me if you can, what, you, what you're feeling after just, you know, letting rip 15 rounds. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, 30 if they allow you to. Yeah, let alone really sustained bursts. And I'm sorry, if, if there's two or three shooters, he's still not one of them. If I'm picking the team, no, it's like, that's, that's the other thing. It's like, there's two or three shooters. Yeah. That's not the guy that is like, Hey, Hey, why you sit up in the hotel, the room and look for us with binoculars. Okay. You know, but he didn't, uh, just didn't fit the, I mean, look, I've, I, there, 
I know accountants. I was supposed to be one actually at one point in my life. And if he was an accountant, accountants are notoriously conservative, notoriously very, you know, they stay in their wheelhouse. So to have this guy cut loose with full auto fire, you know, just set up shop. It's like, what does he have like a table for full of cocaine? And he's just like, yeah, you know, screaming and yelling. And, you know, at that point you're going to, why, why not after the first 500 rounds, just jump out the window yourself? You know, why, why even let the police yeah, take you? Or, or the other part. Yeah, he watched the, other, the video on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other part is why not shoot through the door? If you knew the cops were coming, yeah, you you set you put the locks well, on the door. Yeah, they're gonna... supposedly did. Supposedly shoot through the door, shoot through the wall, oh. shoot through everything. So you know, I did hear gonna... today, the sheriff say when they got up there with the hotel security, yeah, he shot the door at them, and they waited for the SWAT team to come. Then, mm. but why didn't right. he continue shooting at the SWAT team? I, yeah, there you go. I mean, if you've got you've got that much firepower, hell, start. But like pumping. I said, I want to see the hotel cameras. Yeah, you're not going to see him. Right. Plus, you know the thing, thing I want to see. And, uh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, uh, agreeing with Master Guns, is if you're, you know, your wherewithal is, is firearms, you're not going to just shoot through the fatal funnel of the, of the, of the door. You know, the, they're, they're not center block walls. You can put rounds through basically from the door jam to the corner of the wall. Oh, yeah. And that's where the, where the stack would be of people coming to try and absolutely the yeah we're and talking the yeah first guy has the shield yeah a couple couple things of drywall oh no I, normal civilian structures are extremely easy to shoot through even with a five five six it's not that bad so anyway I I still think that the best guy to interview would be the security guard that supposedly caught a bullet in the leg. But we're probably never going to see him or hear from him because he'd be the perfect witness. He'd be the guy, the, the, right. the linchpin, say, oh, yeah, it was totally him. He shot me. He looked crazy. Or you could make up a little another thing to his backstory. Anyway, I hate to do this to you, but we got I still got. No, not at calls. all. Any uh, anything Quick else? Shout out to any, I have a shout out to everyone that's listening or will listen on YouTube and keep it flat. Have a good night. Right on. Have a good one. All right, uh, let's do Oakland. Oakland 510, you're on Strange World. What's going on? Yo, Mark, it's your boy, Chris Berg, New York. Brian, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> what can I do for you this good, evening? Good, good. Oh, man, you know, I just wanted to chime in my two cents. Uh, sure. The first video I've seen was uh, from... Uh, too strange in the fiction and uh one of the things that was interesting in the video that he posted and was the person who was filming from wherever balcony was at it was like uh i'm not buying this right now you know this is not it's not adding up i'm not seeing no bodies and so on and so forth and right yeah just uh, yeah I, we gotta we gotta keep uh, our ears uh our ears and eyes open and uh you know see how this thing open up I wanted to just kind of jump off, 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 off kill just a little bit. Sure. Have you heard anything? Have you heard anything else about the uh, the supposed uh, 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 moon race? You know, you're absolutely right. The uh, the Google X Prize. You remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I, 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 now I had, I had heard that they had already kicked that can down the road about six or eight weeks ago. Where they said, okay, because for people who don't remember, five countries, Google was going to pay $20 million to any company that could land a probe with a camera on the moon and send pictures back to Earth. Right? And five countries were the finalists, uh, the United States, the Europeans, Israelis, Indian, and the Japanese. And somewhere, and, but the thing was you had to launch by December 31st of this year which is not too far from now. Mm-hmm. And they kick the can down go. the road all with no reason whatsoever. They said, no, no, we're going to push that thing out until middle of April, something like that. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, so you just hey, bought yourself. Are. So, yeah, that's after that. So you, yeah. you, can, you can bet that come December, they're going to kick that down. That, 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 that contest is never going to happen. And no different and, than and the – uh, Go ahead. The Elon Musk, the Elon Musk uh, thing too. About oh yeah people. yeah was the, it Elon who said he was gonna do that? Yeah, Elon Musk said that nine months from now 
that they're going to send two passengers around the moon, uh, two, two, two tourists around the moon with a crew, around the moon and back. Exactly. Not going to land, but they're going to go around the moon exactly. back. I'm going, okay, that's never been done ever, one, and it hasn't even been attempted with craft for 50 or 60 years. Even It's like, okay, what booster are you going to use? What capsule are you going to use? Well, who's your crew? Who are these two idiots that supposedly are going to be doing this? None of that's going to happen. But then Elon's also been doing stuff where he's been saying, oh, yeah, we're going to use that same rocket technology and use it for commercial air travel. And for the price of an economy seat, you're going to go from the United States to Hong Kong in 30 minutes. And it's like, okay, we yeah. have, I've heard this story yeah. before. Every few years they run this story, and that is super special supersonic aircraft are going to be built based on rocket technology that's going to do this. And he's just making claims now. He's just pulling stuff so far out of his ass. Oh, my God. It's it's painful to listen to Elon. <laughs> it is so horrible. A, Sorry, go ahead. I had a good friend of mine. I had a good friend of mine. His favorite thing to say was, yeah, don't talk me to death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate Elon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna continue to keep watching. Uh, also, you know how you always, uh, how you said that now we get to a point where you could be walking amongst flat earthers and don't even know it. Right. Uh, come to find out, my, my mechanic, uh, one of my mechanics, man. Uh, I was over there talking to one of our senior drivers, and uh, I was uh, probing him with the. Uh, with the uh, 9-11, you know, trying to, you know, get them, get them, you know, try to ease them in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so when I left out to go, uh, go to my bus, one of my mechanics was on the bus and he was, you know, and I was, I was like, yeah, I was over there talking to Bob and, you know, it's like, man, you know, we're in a very, uh, you know, complex world. And he was like, yeah, man, he was like, I went to, I went to go see the pyramids over in, uh, I think he said, uh, Mexico. And he said, yeah, man, I'm thanks. I haven't been there by the time. And I said, huh? I said, hold on, all right, let me let me let me see what his mindset is at. And yeah, he didn't he didn't hesitate, man. He said, Oh yeah, the whole flat earth. Uh 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 yes, research. He said, Yeah, man, I've been I've been on that for a good year, man. He said, Yeah, it's hard to, you know, get people to uh to, to pay attention to it. Nice. But he said it's he said it's impossible for the way they'll to happen. So yeah, I, I like you said, I, yeah. And, and so I'm looking for now, uh isn't um uh what's the gentleman's name? Uh uh, Bro Sanchez, isn't he in Vegas, or is he still in Vegas? I do, I do not know. Yeah, because I'm interested to. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been subscribed to him in a while. But I think the last time I, I was tuning in, that he, I knew he spent some time out there. So yeah, I'm just interested to see and okay. hear, you know, more content come out. But yeah, that's what's up. But that's all I got. I just wanted to chime in. All right, uh, man. Good hearing from you, Bro, man. Appreciate right. you guys as experts. You know, you know, you know the whole thing of it is, and I think I shared this with you before. My pastor said, if you don't know something, don't start making stuff up. Just say you don't know. And it's always good to have people like you and Brian who have, you know, uh, some some type of knowledge, especially Brian being that, you know, he's a military guy, and yeah. to understand what to be listening for. Because instantly when I heard the video, too, uh, I was like, man, that sounded like two sets of gunshots. And then it just, that thing just kind of like rapid, just like, do, 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 back to back to back and I, hey i'm not yep. no gun guy but i'm like yeah that's it and also first thing came to my mind too mark was the distance i'm like man and once again i ain't know nothing about no bullet drop uh dropping all that but just listening to you guys you guys was confirming some of my curiosity so hey, right on there you go all right man you have a good night okay all right you too keep it flat man it'd be nice keep to get it. out there to la man but uh, i'll try to get myself good to go for uh for the, uh for the rally north carolina thank you okay. all right see ya Bye-bye. All right. Let's do – we're going to do this pretty quick. we only got 11 minutes left in the show. Uh, California, just somewhere in 818 area code. And, yes, after that, I will try to pick up Beverly Hills because they just won't go away. Here we go. 818 area code. Are you still there? Hello? Hello. Mark? Yes. Mark? Yes. Hey. My name is James. Hey, James. What's up? Yo, check – Check this out. Uh, I'll tap into two things real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Vegas is a grassy no. Sure. Why not? Situation. I, it it feels like it. Kind of, you know. A few, a few shooters. Okay, and one other thing. Uh, Casey Nestat, you know who that is? Casey Nestat. No, I do not. The, 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 the YouTuber. He's got like 7 million subscribers. Okay. Somebody ought to challenge that guy. 
to debate on flat Earth or something. You know, you get is attention. He, is he uh, is he like a big science guy? Does he like debunking anybody? No, he's just like a, he, he's just a, he just got a lot. We need somebody's got a lot of subscribers. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll look you know, him up. They, I, are just, I, are just, go ahead. Somebody will, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you remember that movie? You remember that movie Ransom with uh, Mel Gibson? Of course. You remember when when he had all that money on the table, and yep. he was like, "Look, this is it. This is what that's what we need for flat Earth. Like, make a video with that money on the table." And be like, "Look, this is yours. This, this is yours. You come get it. Just prove these things to me, and that, that's it." That's not. I mean, bad. money talks. Like, if we if we do the money, big money, money challenge, you know what? A visual might help. That I, I actually like that. That's good. I mean, just, yeah, just set it on the table and be like, "Look, I mean, I mean, when you when you without, have you ever seen that money when those uh." Bank guys come out with money from the banks when they're armor guys, and, and your eyes yep. are just like, damn. Yep. You know? Yep. I mean, it's bad, but money does make the world and make people do things and pay attention. I what agree. I agree. It is what are one of the driving forces of at least this country. Cool. Any any shout outs yeah. you want to do? No, I'll just tell everybody and uh, looking at that Casey Ness, that guy, he's got the he's got a lot of subscribers, and I figure if we start tapping into his comments are trying to get his attention. I mean, he probably will throw it to the other side and be like, I don't even want to touch it. But I mean, people, how many people read his comments with 7 million people on his subscribe list? Good point. Good point. We, you know, I will, I will look him up and see if I can uh, poke him a little bit. You know what I mean? Anybody. All right, Mark, take care. All right, man. Have a good one. Okay. Uh, Heck, let's pick up Beverly Hills real quick. And then uh, I think Alhambra is calling back. Let's try to Beverly Hills. All right, Beverly Hills, I'm going to give you three minutes and change. What do you got? Hey, what's up, Mark? <laughs> hey. Josh. Um, I, I, I got a quick question. Um, yeah. I was wondering about, you know, I don't know if anyone's talked about it, but um, October being like, you know, a sacrifice type, like a human sacrifice type of a month. Um, you might know Alex Jones has mentioned that type of stuff. Like there's some type of esoteric meaning behind it. Not Anything bad. Of that nature? You know what? That's I hadn't really given that much thought. That uh, there could be some some symbolism behind this thing, and I know there's people that in Gematria that's probably going to dissect it six ways from Sunday. But <laughs> the uh, yeah yeah there there could be something there. Could be. I definitely thought it was interesting. Did your uh, your guest leave already? Who, Brian? No. no, he's right here. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you were you were uh you were in the what Marines? Is that that's correct? <laughs> I mean, what, who who was no, he? Sorry. United States Army Master Gunner. Uh, I don't know how much more information you want to give him. So, uh, more information. You need. Okay. You, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so okay. he, that means, Andy, that means Andy, he, was, on the phone, right? he, he was on a tank, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So so Brian was on a tank, and he put in... He oh, he was on a tank, okay. I yeah, he ju well, he just retired, just really, really recently. Okay. Okay. Yes, well, that was one of my main questions, and, you know, in terms of just the sacrifice. I don't really... There's not too much behind it, but I know that there's some kind of symbolism in the whole October sober and you know it's just i thought it's a very interesting point sure. i know andy had another question but i'm you know what do you, what yeah, do you got, yeah, i was just wondering about things burning things burning up when they come back in the atmosphere <laughs> like is that I mean, like, what, like is, the deal it, with is that? it possible the people have said okay what what are no, meteors they I've, just made that up right well, no, no, no. There's things that are burning up up there. The question is, are they part of the system? Or, I mean, you could do it. If you build a structure this big, doing meteors, that's cake. I mean, that's that's no different than throwing a little rock yeah. into an aquarium. I mean, rail, rail gun technology, better than ours. Fire a piece of metal ore. Let the atmosphere do the rest. Try not to aim at major cities. And that's it. And the rest of it, you know... The, the rest is just decoration or older <laughs> technology. I'm not saying the craters aren't there on the ground. I'm just saying, find me a recent, really big crater. And no, Tunguska does not count yeah. from, from 1908. Uh, anyway, sorry, any uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> any, any last shout outs? Before, Mark, before, before, one last thing. One, one last thing, Mark. Quick. Um, the sun and the moon being in the same area, isn't that like impossible for the moon to be on the other side of the earth? I've, we, I've seen that many times. L 
You mean the moon to be in the moon and the sun in the sky at the same Where time? Where you can see the moon and the sun at the oh. same time. Like we're seeing the sun, and we're seeing we're seeing daytime, we're seeing the moon in the daytime, and then in China they're seeing the same moon, but it's full. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. that's that's impossible. In fact, D. Marble did a fantastic. That's video a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, absolutely, yeah. it is. I thought so, that was your video. So what video are you saying? Oh, look up, look up a, a guy named D. Marble. He did a great video where he actually got guys live on the phone. I think one in Australia, one in England, one over here in Seattle. And he basically had held every had to, held their phones up, and he's going, "Look, the 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 moon, uh, the sun cannot be in." The, he was he was doing it with the sun. The sun cannot be in these places all simultaneously. So check that out when you get a chance. The, right. the video he only did it I think two weeks ago. Okay. So D Marble M A R B L E. Wow. Okay. Great. So there anyway, might be multiple moons and suns. Maybe the Book of Enoch sure talks about it. So it's very possible. Oh, it does. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. I'll look up the stuff. Anyway, I gotta run. I gotta close the show out in just a second. So, uh, all right, thanks, Mark. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys. Bye bye. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do Chester VA. I think. Well, I don't know what Josh wants. Hang on, let's see if I can do Josh for sixty seconds. Josh, did you have something important that you wanted to? You got like sixty seconds. Oh uh, no, dude! I just was. Were you just listening? I, Dude, I was just, uh, yeah. Well, no, not really. I was, if you had it open, I was going to talk to you. But if not, go for it, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. I do. There is one more call I got to pick up. That it can't, unfortunately, it can't be you. So. No yeah. problem, man. I was yeah. just going to talk to you about the shooting. That's all. Later, oh, bro. I got you. Well, well, I may continue this next week. We'll see. Anyway, talk to you soon, okay? I'll, I'll put you back on mute. Later you don't on. Have to hang up. You don't have to hang up if you don't want to. Okay, so let's do Chester VA. That's going to be the last call. Okay, Chester VA, I'll give you two minutes. What do you got? Chester. Mark. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is Ken. Hey, uh, Ken. I'm from... Re- I'm, hey, I uh, was in the Navy, got mm-hmm. out in 83, mm-hmm. and I made a living as a skydiver for over 20 years. Cool. So... You know, I, I started listening to your show about, oh, God, maybe eight, nine months ago. Holy smokes. And, okay. uh, man, everything started clicking with me. You nice. know, because we used to, when we first started coming out with fisheye lenses mm-hmm. and all that stuff, we would do that to make it look like it was round, knowing that it wasn't, you know. I yeah. mean, we would already figured out all that stuff. We figured out looking across, uh, you know, when, we were, when I was in the Navy, when we were on the mother's ship, you know, overlooking all the flagships and everything mm-hmm. we knew there was no curvature we used to talk about it and, and we used to make fun of it wow and and now all of a sudden you know i was a closet uh flat earther for years and me and a couple other buddies of mine we used to laugh about it and joke about it and say it's all bs you know they all been teaching us bs in the science classes and then <laughs> all of a sudden this starts coming out this last year and i'm like you know i'm 55 years old yeah. and, I, and i'm like wow you know, I'm just blown away by everything you guys are doing. <laughs> nice. Well, thank just, you. You know, it's just that's that's awesome. Yeah, that's I, and I, and I think it's great what you're doing because it also got me even looking at the Bible aspects of it too. And it, it's like it's all in there, but yep, I'm still clueless as to how it all works. You know. Well, what nobody's you got know. all the answers. Not uh, not even our community. But no, but I, I mean, you know, in, in my dad was an army engineer and he was in the Korean War. And he knew about Admiral Byrd and all that stuff. He used to talk about it. Nice. So nice. that was really amazing when you started bringing that up, too. Right. But anyways, uh, you know, I don't want to take up your time. I know you're coming to the end of your show. Yeah, the but, show's running out. So uh, any, any shout-outs, any little quick things? No, just keep it flat, man. And shout-out to all you flat earthers, man. That's awesome. Keep doing what nice. you're doing, and, and let's find out the real truth. Right on, man. Thank you. And we're going to end on that one, okay? All right, buddy. All right, see ya. Bye bye. All right, Brian. Thanks for coming on the show and yes. uh, giving us the breakdown. And again, uh, the, the short story of the whole Vegas thing. What the media is saying is that look, there's not enough gun to get the job done up there. Not enough. Not what they're saying. There's more to this, and we're, we'll, it'll unfold over the next oh, uh, week. Or the media is all messed up. It's all there is to it. So they got the scripts all wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. 
So anyway, I'll be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes tomorrow. And Saturday, I'm heading down to Los Angeles. Sunday, I'm doing a meetup in Pasadena, California. If you guys want to look that up, look it up. Other than that, um, hey, come back next week. I will be here. What is this? Same flat time, same flat channel. Stay on for a sec, Brian. <laughs> oh, okay. I had to make a new one. What are you doing? Thank you.